Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make an inventory system. I just want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out there. I am not showing y'all how to make like a GUI inventory system. What I'm just pretty much showing you is, you know, you have leader stats and stuff um, of like certain things. And then you're able to pick up, we'll say, yeah, we'll say pick up certain items on the floor and stuff like that, right? And then when, like you're only allowed to pick up a certain amount, right? And you can also use this to also make like a selling system. Like you walk up to someone and sell it for money and stuff. But the point is, yeah. But yeah, though, this video was requested to me by someone in my Discord server. Name is Rip underscore Johnny or Xkyoto TV. He asked me to make an inventory system where only some items you can put. And their example was you doing a mining game, which pretty much I think is a reference to my old mining video that I had made like about a week. Well, it's not really old. I made it like a week ago, but anyway and stuff so yeah i chose mining for this but anyway let's get straight into the video though oh before i actually get into the video thank you guys for uh subscribing like y'all been doing great on the new videos and stuff like that we're finna hit 360 subs i know for a fact we finna hit it um today which is the 21st to be honest i'm recording this video at like 2 in the morning but honestly we might have hit it by the time i wake up i'm not sure but anyway let's get straight into it i already wrote the script right I could technically retype this, but I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to really mess anything up, because I remember, I obviously know how to do all this, but the thing was, I just learned how to, what's the, I just, honestly, I just figured out how to, like, use tables and data stores, so, yeah, because as I know, I'm still learning, so, but anyway, let's get straight into it, though, so, right, oh, let me rename this, I was renaming, I just had to name that for the test, but anyway, right, of course, I'll have the script in the, uh, description right as always but i'll just quickly break down the script okay so of course to make a variable we get our inventory data store we have our stats folder then we have all of our values right our iron ore gold ore diamond ore and coal ore right which are represented by these four right i'm pretty sure you guys can tell diamond iron gold and coal right then we run our pre-call this is what happens when a player joins the game we look if they have any data and if they do have data we will set the value, each value to that of the corresponding, uh, we'll say number within uh, th their data. And if they don't, we'll just set their data to zero since they're technically being recognized as a new player, right? And then this is just pretty much ensuring that it like runs again until it successfully uh, loads the player's data and updates, I should say. Now, this is my new way for saving data. I'm gonna have new data saving videos drop uh, in 2023. But anyway, um, so yeah, so we're going to use a table stats info, right? Then we're going to do table to insert. You put the table's name, which is stats info, right? Then you put the value, of course, you're trying to, you know, add to the table. One thing to note, um, this needs to be in the same order as this, like, like how I'm setting iron ore and I'm saving iron ore or I'm setting gold ore and setting and, uh, saving gold ore. It needs to be in the exact same order. So make sure you have it all in the same order. But yeah, it's really simple. Then you just set a thing, then you just save the table, you're pretty much saving the table, the table's values inside of the table to then save the table to the player, if that makes sense, right? Instead of doing set async, then doing like a, like a table inside of it. It's pretty much the same thing. You're like, you're still saving a table. Like I could do this and then do like player dot stats folder dot iron or dot value, then comma, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing over and over again. But this is just generally, I guess you could say, a better way of doing it, or just generally, just a different way. But I prefer using this way now that I know how to do it. Anyway, then we have our four IV in pairs loop where we get all of the ores, or just generally whatever it is you want to be able to be like, we'll say, pickable or like is able to be picked up. I should say, right? We get all of our ores in the workspace and stuff, right? So then, when a person clicks on it, we have a we have a click detector inside, right? If they have a certain amount, here's where you would put your cap, like the amount that they're that you want them to have, right? Or, well, okay, it depends how you have it, right? So the cap is two, right? So obviously I'm gonna say less than or equal to one because if they have less than one, it'll add another one, which will then get them to two, right? So then obviously you won't keep adding after that, and then it'll destroy the or obviously, right? So that's just how we have the script. I'll go ahead and show you guys. That's and that's it. No local scripts, no remote events, nothing. And then I'll show you guys how it works, right? So, or more of like just generally demonstrating it. 
So if we go in players, you guys can see we have all my stats here. Everything is set to zero. Now I have three rules set up for testing. Now watch this. If I left click, it's destroyed and it adds one to the diamond ore. If I left click again, boom, that's two. Now it obviously won't work. I'm clicking, but it won't work. And that's because we set it to if it's less than or equal to one, then it'll add one. And obviously, since it's more than one, it obviously won't do anything, right? It won't add anything. Now, obviously, in a realistic sense, you would go you would go to like some type of shop over here and then sell your ore, come back, and then go get more. But yeah, right? Now, if we come over here and do the same thing, we can grab all this, right? We can do this, right? And we each have two in all of them. So that's the cap we put in all of them, right? And then, as you guys can see, it won't let me, it won't let me get any more, right? So now, to test the uh, data saving, right? We can switch the server, go to player. We can then delete our player. This is one way to do it. Because because uh, we want to give the server time to save. Then click stop, play, then boom, come back here, come into stats, and wait, that's weird. It's not supposed to have done that. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, wait, I think I know why, I think I know why. Hold on, hold on. I think it might have been guy changed the data store name. Hold on. Let's try that again. If it doesn't work, then we will figure out the issue and then figure it out. Let's just, okay. Uh, let me start just leaving the game regularly. Leave. Right. That is also an alternative. Then let me click play. And let's see. I think it let's see if it were it's not that is so weird I don't know why it's not working hmm inventory data store inventory data store. it's weird because it was working like when I had tested it hmm All right. did I change something Oh shit, you know, actually, hold on. Wait, let me just make sure I didn't, I didn't. Oh, oh, I see what I did wrong, I see what I did wrong. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It was when I was showing you guys the example. I accidentally put like a table into another table instead of just putting the table. That's why, that's why. Okay, my fault. I didn't set it back correctly after my example. Okay, anyway, let's get back to it. So, okay, so if we do this, we grab all of these, left click. Boom, 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 and there we go. We can go ahead and t try this again. We can test this. Leave, then we click play. That should work this time. We go here, and boom, there we go. It saves, right? So it saves your inventory and stuff. Look, we can't, we can't claim anything. Like I said, we could have like a little shop here. We could sell the ore, make money from it, right? If you guys do want a video on how to do that, then uh, let me know. I can. No problem at all. I can record a video like that and drop it probably either today or tomorrow. Just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful to the person who requested it. Leave a like and subscribe. Help me get to 400 subscribers. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Link Links to join my Discord and Roblox can be found in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all.